if I can have your attention, we'll go ahead and call our meeting to order. Uh, it is Monday, March the 16th, and we are starting our meeting a little bit early. We had anticipated um, having some hearings that were supposed to take place, but I understand those have been canceled. So in the interest of um, safety and, and, and well-being of uh, not only ourselves, but our staff and, and anyone who is participating in our meeting, we're going to have an abbreviated agenda. So I'm going to ask our city manager, Pete Prezinski, to go over what we will be discussing this evening. Anything that is time sensitive will, will remain on the agenda, and then anything we can postpone, we can, so we'll be able to have a shortened meeting. Okay, thank you, Mayor. And I've called each of you, and we it was right up to the last minute on changes. Uh, but again, this is, uh, this is just a suggestion, and uh, we'll follow your guidance, of course. But the al alcohol beverage hearings, uh, all three, um, uh, Rob has communicated with the attorney, and uh, we need to postpone those to uh, the next work session at least so we could communicate okay. with, with them accordingly. So that would come off. Uh, the presentations, number four, um, with Dave Hetzel, we did talk to him and explained, and he is, um, he is okay to put that off to a later date. Uh, on the consent agenda, the only change on there is that the spring fling has been postponed, so you could go ahead and adopt the resolution. We right. could change the dates uh, in, according, in okay. accordance with that. Uh, under new business, number 11, we could, we could postpone uh, the service agreement uh, until next meeting, uh, so we could uh, obviously, in the sake of time, put that off until the, the uh, more appropriate uh, timing. Ordinances for the annexation, we, you know, we do have to do that uh, if, if we can. And then under resolutions, I, I would consider striking number 14 okay. on the agenda. Okay. So those okay. are the changes. Okay. And, um, there's one addition I think it's very appropriate. I, I put a copy of a um, City Tipton plan response to the, the uh, coronavirus pandemic okay. at your seat. I need some plan. We were, uh, Emily worked on a document today to give us some type of um, order to follow just in case we need to take it to the next step. So I'd like to at least have you talk about that. And then if we need to institute it, we, we certainly can okay. um, next couple okay. of days. All right. That being said, is that clear with everyone what we're talking about removing from the agenda and what we're leaving on? What we're going to do, Johnny, is take away. Uh, anything that's not time sensitive, so we can have a condensed meeting. Okay. So, uh, so that being said, you've okay. heard people. Yes. One item that I'd like to add to the agenda. Okay. Uh, the situation came up this morning. Uh, we have an unemployment uh, situation, the Department of Labor involving Brandy Self. Uh, I've talked to Ms. Self's attorney uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we potentially have worked out you know, a settlement. I'd like to talk to briefly with council quickly in executive session, okay. and then we'll need a vote on 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 the settlement hearing. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll go into executive session following this meeting, and then come back into session uh, after executive session. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Perfect. All right. Is that clear? Uh, that being said, I will need an approval of the agenda with the proposed changes that Pete has presented to us. So moved. Thank you, sir. Second. Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Uh, you have uh, mailed the minutes from our last meeting. Uh, Jessica sent those out to us in our packet. Um, let's see. Let me scroll through those. So you should have had a chance. That would be our March 2nd meeting. So you, you've had a chance to read through those if there's, uh, if those look acceptable. And then we also have from the uh, council meeting of February the 17th. So if you'll look through those, and then I'll take a motion regarding those uh, minutes and those minutes. Okay, so we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Um, the next item on our agenda would be the consent agenda. Uh, you see we have uh, several items there uh, that can all be taken collectively. And again, with Pete's uh, recommendation, the only change would be that spring fling uh, for downtown will just be postponed. So we can go ahead and approve uh, the festival ordinance designating that area and um, and then just uh, amend the dates when that's done. So if you'd like to take those together or we can take them independently, however y'all would like to do that. Take them together. Okay, you want to make a motion, MJ? Motion. Okay, so we have a motion to uh, approve the entire consent agenda. Is there second. a second? Thank you. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> All right, next items are our ordinances. Uh, that's item 12 and 13 on your agenda. These are regarding annexation uh, from Mr. David DeLoach. We discussed that 
significantly during the uh, workshop, so uh, we can take those ordinances. One would be the annexation, and then one would be for the rezoning. So let's take the annexation uh, first. Is there a motion to approve that annexation? So moved. Okay, if we have a motion, is there a second? Second. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The next item is the ordinance providing for the rezoning of those uh, those same acres that we just annexed. So uh, we've discussed that again. That was presented at the workshop. So I will take a motion concerning that rezoning. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, got we got it. <coughs> Any yeah, further discussion? Good. Okay, thank you. We got uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we'll drop down to the resolutions, item 15 and 16 on your agenda. One is for an amended alcoholic beverage license for Taco Loco, located at 1520 South Central Avenue. Is that the correct address? That, that's what I'm wondering. I looked at that. Is that the right? They were on. Yeah. I didn't think so, okay. On that's the one on 12th Street. 12th. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so the address on our agenda is wrong, but it is for Taco Loco, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, They're, okay. Um, they are wanting, they had a beer license mm -hmm. and they're wanting to add liquor and wine so it's okay. just amending just changing right. what they're serving mm -hmm. okay all right so that uh is before you now i'll take a motion concerning the taco loco license so moved. thank you is there a second second um any further discussion all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye, aye. any opposed all right and then we also have a re resolution providing for a new alcohol beverage license for easy mart located at 3301 highway 82 west is there a motion concerning that alcohol license? This one is a new one. Yep, yep, yep. Um, someone is um, leasing that and they are wanting beer only and staff has reviewed that application and is recommending approval. Okay. Uh, the location um, fits the ordinance and we did not find anything um, based off the applicant review. Okay. Okay, so that's for beer only. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the easy mark beside Lowe's. Beside Lowe's. Beside Lowe's. Lowe's. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And everyone has signed off on that application. So, okay. Uh, that, that being said, is there a motion concerning this particular application? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Okay. Thank you. All those. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, um, we're going to skip over the board report. Pete, uh, we do have your um, emergency response plan. So uh, for consideration, you wanna go over that with us and share anything that we need to be yeah, aware of? Real quickly, uh, again, we were just into new uncharted waters. Uh, so we did a, a draft today um, of a uh, kind of response, level one, two, and three, in case we need, need to go there. But uh, the, the, what this kind of outlines is if we need to talk about level two or three, there may be a need for you to do a resolution if it's for for something with the city or something that we need so that's just it's an fyi but more importantly who are the essential employees at what level do we call it uh, and if we get instructions uh, to, to further slow down operations we need a plan that we could follow so there really won't be anything to do tonight but this is a draft i'll ask you just to look over that please okay and i'm going to i'm going to fix a couple things up where it talks about city of tifton and send it out to you uh to be uh on ready uh if okay. you so uh, would to at least you know sign off on this to make sure that um uh, we have a plan to follow right. that's okay. that's most uh, important uh, and again uh this is i'm going to develop this in the next couple days uh and situation dependent Sure, okay. So this would be no different than plans we have in place for natural disasters, for fires, for various things like that. So uh, we've never really had to address something like this, fortunately, um, but we do need to be prepared. So if everyone will take those, uh, if you have any questions, if you want to make any changes, um, just direct that back to you, Pete, or to Emily, just, or both of y'all. No, just, just back to me, okay. and I'll, I'll work it from there. When, okay. Uh, again, um, once it's, it's prepared, um, and everyone's okay with it, well, I'll just use that as a tool. Sure. And, uh, if we have to adopt it, uh, we'll, we'll figure out how to, how to do that here this week. Right. Is there a um, way that we could make it a general uh, pandemic response instead of a, just a coronavirus or if something were to come out in the future that we don't even know the name of yet, that we could still use these same procedures no matter what? 
Yeah, um, we, we, could, uh, we could have a template um, yeah. for one in the future. This one yeah. would, would be specific for coronavirus, but that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. more about the body, giving you the assurance that if I say we got to do a resolution on something with you know funds that mm -hmm. you know in, in level two, if we call it, then, then we're going to have to do a resolution. And, right. Or if we go into level two and we have people that um, – are non-essential or uh, work from home. You'll know who those right. individuals are. So okay. it's just a guide that, that we will have just in case we need to take it to the next level. Being so. prepared. Yeah. Okay, excellent, very good. Um, and then right. lastly, just for the minutes, um, uh, at this afternoon, and Mayor, I think you're gonna talk about your video. For, do you, are you gonna, I can. Mm -hmm. You wanna talk through that, or but that, wanna... that, is, uh, that is live. The mayor did a, uh, a video today, um, but three minutes talking about where we are, just giving the public kind of updates, because I think they're wanting to hear, uh, you know, what's happening, and they're, they're starving for information other than what's on TV. So she did a great job. I'll let you finish with that. But more importantly, uh, for your consideration tonight, uh, effective Tuesday, March 17th, the city of Tifton will not disconnect any water service for 30 days uh, for the first interval. Uh, we understand the need for proper sanitation and personal hygiene, so we'll be working with our customers during this challenging time. Once we resume normal business, the city will not charge a reconnection fee, but the customer is still responsible for their charges on the utility bill. So we're asking uh, to maintain uh, due uh, dates and, and payments if possible. Uh, and then in the situation dictates, we'll be looking at different ways for customers to make their payment, such as online or uh, just eliminate the ent entering the city hall. So we'll, again, we'll take that um, if that needs, but I wanted to make sure you're okay with that. Uh, and uh, you're, you're ready to move forward. I think that's a big one. Um, I talked to Jeff, and uh, we talked to customer service. And tomorrow's cut off, so we just we need okay. to take action on that. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, quickly we'll go through uh, comments from the uh, council representatives, and then following those comments, we'll go into executive session. So, um, MJ, you want to you want to kick off? Um, comments. I would just you know prepare for. Whatever we can prepare for with this virus, everybody take care of themselves and take it one day at a time. But right. try to keep the city of Tifton, Tifton clean as much as possible. Exactly. Yeah. All we can do. Yep. That's right. So, y'all yep. take care of yourselves. Yep, and I second that. And Jay, um, also, um, I'd like to show our gratitude to uh, Senator Saunders for endorsing some local legislation that we had um, at the Capitol and uh, the Senate chambers. He, was able to get that done before they canceled the um, uh, session, and so just um, uh, appreciate that because that um, that legislation is going to mean a lot for the city of Tiffany and as a whole over the next coming years. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I just want to remind people that we do have limited access to City Hall. If you can, um, if you need to do business with the city, try to do it via our online resources. Make a phone call. Uh, if you need to pay a bill, come through the drive through We do want to protect uh, the um, security and safety of our, and health of our employees and their families. Uh, we did do a video this afternoon, so I appreciate very much Kirsten McAlpin coming down and, and uh, very um, quickly getting that on our social media and on our website, and that will be on our government channel. Um, and I do want to confirm that we do not have any active cases of COVID-19 in Tift County. So there's a lot of rumor out there Please check for reliable your reliable sources. The hospital does have a, uh, a, a hotline if you feel like you have symptoms, and we've got that that number available. Um, so I think the the thing to do is if you can stay home, stay home. Uh, wash your hands consistently and constantly uh, for that 20 seconds. Make sure you're using hand sanitizer. Just be smart, and uh, and I think that will help. But we're very fortunate to not have any cases in our county. So uh, so thank you to those that are that are minding that. All right, Mr. Terrell. Well, I'm good with the situation, the way things are running. Good. Uh, like I said, we just got to look out for this whole community. Yes. Tip, so, yes. You know, th you know, let's let's just be cautious. You know, and just kind of, kind of get. You, we're gonna get through it. Yeah. We've been we've been down this path before. <laughs> we we we're gonna get through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Okay. Thank you, Councilman Pope. I mean, same thing. I I might disagree a little bit with the councilman, but I'm not sure we've been through something this serious, everything that I'm, I'm no, hearing, right. and I try to listen to the top yeah. medical yeah. Thing. You know, if this thing's gonna get worse, we'll get better. But the way to stop it is stay away. You know, do not have large groups. Mm -hmm. Stay home if you can. 
And once we get access to test, then we'll find out really how many people we do have. Because mm -hmm. if you can't test them, you don't know for sure what you got. So mm -hmm. everybody needs to do their part and you know stay away from people. I had to go, just real quick. I had to go to Walmart just in and out through the self checkout, and a lady came up behind me, and I mean, she just was almost invading my space. And I kind of turned and looked. About that time, she coughs into her hand. <laughs> and I back up further, and, and I came this close just saying, get away. I mean, it's just, it was ridiculous. What, I mean, you just don't walk up into somebody's space and then cough in your hand. Thank God she coughed into her hand. But, if I get sick, I know where I am. I ain't been around you. I brought my hand sanitizer. <laughs> I am, I am prepared and ready to go. Yeah, yeah me too. So. All right, well, thank you all for your comments. Uh, we will need uh, a motion to go into executive session for personnel reasons. Second. Thank you, is there a second? Second. second. All right, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we'll take about a one minute break and then we'll go into executive session. <laughs>